Right now, these people that you're calling black leaders are not what they used to be with Marcus Garvey's day. They're not what they used to be back in the days of W.E.B. Du Bois and Martin Luther King. Those were the people that got us together and planted a strategy, and we're not looking for fame. But today's black leaders, I'm afraid, have become leading blacks. And don't ever confuse leading blacks with black leaders. you don't do that. One of the reasons you don't confuse them, black leaders are chosen by you. They're chosen by the people they're going to lead. They're chosen by us. But let me tell you about the leading blacks. The leading blacks are chosen by the media. Leading blacks Leading blacks are chosen by ABC, all broadcasting Caucasians. Should I, should I, should, should, should I, should I stop her or let her go? chosen by NBC. Nothing broadcasting but Caucasians. <laughs> and the rest are chosen by CBS, the Caucasian Broadcasting System. <laughs> and when you allow, when you allow leaders to be chosen by the media that's owned by the corporations, when you get ready to change your lives, when you get ready to demonstrate, when you get ready to march, when you get ready to come to the covenant, when you get ready to endorse and make a, a Tavis one of our next elected officials, well, what happens? <laughs> then you must take the time to carefully watch and see what the leading blacks are doing. Because that's when the leading blacks sneak into the door to the corporations, and they will tell the corporations, oh, we know how to go and put them down. We know how to get you some real affirmative action Negroes to come in here and work. We know how to do that. But at the end of the day, the leading blacks lead the corporations, and the leading blacks have gotten paid while we have gotten played.